Greetings to our beloved lecturer and friend, this team and I would like to thank Sir Azrin bin Jalasi for allowing us to be here today. Background to the present study with use guide as presentation, the team using the probe. As explained above, this thesis is concerned with measurement of guide performance and trip. The guide as a scientific or technical tool. This group divides its topic into a series of more or less equal section and each group members is given the task of presenting one section of the topic. The title to be presented is How to Make and Fly a Kite. Next, let's go how to easily make a kite and cut bamboo along 80 cm and 40 cm. Insert until it is 5 mm thin and below diameter. Make a kite frame with the two thin reeds and combine them crosswise. The shorter reeds are at one per three height. The leg of the long reeds then strengthen the frame using thread on the meeting part of the two reeds. Connect each end of the bamboo with a thread that will form like a rectangle. The paste grace proof paper using glue on the entire frame of the kite. Kite is ready to be produced. Good morning everyone, my name is Isabel and I'm going to tell you all about the materials that we need in order to make a kite. So first thing first, you need two round wooden dowels, a full sheet of newspaper, a pair of scissors, strings, and pencil. And the next thing you need is a masking tape, ruler, ribbons, and a little hand saw. And that's all you need for making a kite. Simple, right? Hi guys, my name is Nur Sharmina Vita with number metric DPR 21F1041 will teach you guys on how to fly a kite. Here I have two types of kite, which is a big one and a small one. So let's begin. Here's a step to fly a kite. First, since it was a beginning, make sure you get a single line kite because it's easy to learn flying and control. Second, before flying a kite, you have to assemble your kite by pinching the string after insert the spine across the pole. Third, choose a big open space to fly your kite. Fourth, never fly your kite at a building, road, airport, tree, and so kind of all that can start your kite. Fifth, make sure it was a sunny day and free of rain, lightning, and a bit windy to fly this thing. Sixth, begin with a facing way from the wind. Seven, make sure you hold the kite until begin to catch the wind. The moment it catch the wind, you can let go slowly your kite. Make sure the tree is tense. Next, in case the wind is light, you can get help from your friend. Ask your friend to hold the kite up in the air in front of them or standing 50 to 100 feet away from it. Next step is the moment the wind picks up, gesture your friend to release the kite. And if you feel the kite is sinking, adjust the thread by lowering the threads a little bit. Lastly, to land your kite, Roll your treats and make sure it tense and tough while you pull it down and make sure it's not knotted with the treats. Thank you, that's all from me and my friends will continue the presentation. Hello to everyone who is watching. My name is Tefi Takung Robert and I'm going to present about history of kite. For this topic, I'm going to talk about place it was invented, things they used to make the first kite, and the way kite was introduced or known to another country. In this era, we are very familiar uh, with kite, but have you guys ever thought of the history in inventing the kite? If you don't, let me explain it for you. Kite were invented in Asia, though their exact origin can only be speculated. 
The oldest depiction of a kite is from Mesolithic period cave painting in Muna Island, Southeast Sulawesi, Indo Indonesia, which has been dated from 9500 until 9000 years before century. Next is things they used to make the first kite. The kite is made from cloth uh, of forest stubble leaf for the mantle, bamboo skin as the frame, and twisted forest pineapple fiber as rope. Since we are getting modern, we use string instead of pineapple fiber as rope. In China, the kite has been claimed as the invention of the 5th century uh, by Chinese philosopher Mozi. Chinese sources describe kites being used for measuring distances, testing the wind, lifting men, signaling, and communication for military operations. It also used as a message uh, for rescue mission. The earliest known Chinese kites were flat and not bow and often rectangular. Later, Thales kite incorporated a stabilizing bowline. As you can see, there is picture of a kite flying by Suzuki Harunobu in year 1766. Some move with strings and whistles to make musical sounds while playing. After it's introduced into India, the kite further involved into the fighter kite which known as the Patang in India, where thousands are flown every year on festivals such as Makasangkrati. There are two different types of fighter kites which you guys can look on the picture shown on the slide. That's all from me. Thank you for listening. Hello everyone, my name is Amy Mirin Safra Binti Abdul Aziz, my mechanics number 07 bpr 21 f 1029 Now I'm going to present about the function of kite. Flying kites is a popular pastime all over the world. A kite is a device that soars through the air at the end of a line. It may be large or small, light or heavy, simple or ornate. Kites are flown in competitive sports, scientific purposes and as a relaxing hobby or pastime. First and foremost, the function of kite flying is we can make it as a hobby. It is an ideal hobby for children, teenagers, or even an adult because it is a great fun. The combination of fresh air, physical activities, and peaceful interaction with nature make a kite flying such a rewarding hobby for any age. It can be done anywhere and people will be outdoors to the an activity. This is something cool you can do with your friends or family. Secondly, we will get a sensory experience when we playing the kite flying. Flying a kite is probably one of the most exhilarating experiences people can have. A sense of pride, joy and ac accomplishment washes over them as their eyes watch this object they will fly into the sky. They smell the great outdoors as their hands feel the vibrations from the wine helping their kite fly. It is thrilling, sensational and a feeling that every people should experience at some point in their childhood. Healthy mind and healthy body will begin if we always spend our time by playing a kite. Kite flying is a great outdoor sport. Kite flying is mentally stimulating and quite beneficial for our mind. It is very easy to forget about our troubles and momentarily become mesmerized by kite flying through the wine. In addition, research has, sh has shown that flying a kite can stimulate areas of your brain involved in memory, learning, and emotion. In conclusion, kite flying has a lot of function as it brings a lot of beneficial effects to our mind, socializing and boost creativity. Not only is flying a kite is a great way to enjoy the outdoors, but it can also offer a few health benefits that you might not realize. You have to admit when you look up and see a kite soaring through the air, it puts a smile on your face. That's all from me. Thank you.